next piece of equipment that we need is what is called a jack. What does this jack do? Just like the jacks that uh, folks keep in their cars when they want to change the tire, this also does the same thing. You can raise the level by using this dial or you can turn it anti-clockwise to bring it down. What I am going to do is place the magnetic stirrer on top of the jack. So place the jack on the ring stand sitting nicely on the base and then keep the stirrer on top of the jack. Why do I need a jack below the stirrer? In distillation, remember we are going to heat the liquid using the heating mantle. This we already preheated and now it is cooled because you do not want to set up anything when the heating mantle is hot. This is the way you are going to start the setup. You have the jack, the magnetic stirrer and the heating mantle. I was explaining to you the reason why we have the jack. Now initially we will start with the jack slightly raised. Let me just raise this clamp. Remember I said we can adjust the level of the clamp. Now, my flask obviously is going to get connected to this clamp here and it will be sitting nicely in the heating mantle. Let me do that. This is the 50 milliliter flask in which I am going to take the sample that we are going to distill. You notice that there is a magnetic stir bar. Let me clamp this flask. Adjust it so that the flask will sit nicely in the heating mantle. If I turn the stirring machine on, the stirrer starts to rotate, but I don't need that going. Now the reason for the jack, as I was mentioning, is that when we start heating the liquid that I will take in this flask, it will start to distill as we have covered that material in the lecture. But once most of the liquid has distilled off, we will have to stop heating because we do not want to distill the flask to dryness. So uh, what do I mean by I have to stop heating? If I turn the dial back to zero, will it stop heating right away? It will stop passing the current in here. However, the mantle surface will still remain hot for a little while. It will take some time for the heating mantle to cool. So, in other words, the heating mantle will be supplying the heat to the liquid even after we turn the dial on the variac back to zero for a few moments. So, if I want to stop the heating right away, what I can do is lower this jack so that the flask is no longer sitting inside the heating mantle which means it's not being heated that strongly. That is the reason why we always have a jack under the heater or if you have a stirrer heater combination in this fashion while you are heating an organic liquid. So you have it in the raised position to begin with. And whenever it says you have to stop heating, you just lower the jack. Okay. So this is the second part of the setup. The jack, magnetic stirrer, heating mantle which is connected to the variac, round bottom flask with the magnetic stir bar in it. All of this is sitting on the ring stand. 
You can also attach it to the monkey bars that are in the hood. If you have long arms and you can handle it without putting your head inside the hood. But for those of you who find it difficult to work with the monkey bars inside the hood, you can use the ring stand so that it is closer to you and you can work comfortably without placing your body inside the hood. So as I said, this is the second part of the setup and we will, I'll show you the distillation apparatus itself in the next setup.